students, it's me again, Teacher Zara, and welcome back to our YouTube classroom. Our subject for today is English 5, Week 1, and our lesson is filling out forms accurately. But first, what is a form? A form is a document with spaces which one can be filled out with required information. It can be printed from electronic form like the ones found online. It is used to gather necessary information for a particular purpose. Children, do you remember this? Or maybe this one? You're right! These are the enrollment forms that your parents or guardians filled out before the class started. It needed the information such as your name, your address, your LRN, and so much more. Or maybe you can recognize this one. This is an example of a withdrawal slip that you need to fill out whenever you need to get money from your bank account. Next is an example of a deposit slip. Whenever you need to store or save money from your bank account, you need to fill out this form. Now this is an information sheet. This is used in securing someone's personal information. Beside it is a paragraph containing the details that is needed in the information sheet. Let us read it. Ana L. Arambolo is the only daughter of David S. Arambolo, a mechanic, and Agapita L. Arambolo, a psychologist, who are both Filipinos. They are residents of 24 Bakersfield Street, Kamya Village, Bagong Lipunan, Quezon City, with a zip code 5770. Their telephone number is 978 Four five six seven. Anna was born on August 1, 2010 in Quezon City. She is now 10 years old. Now, let's look over the form before filling anything out. Look, it says print legibly. It means we need to write clearly using capital letters. Also, it instructs us to take the appropriate box for a part where a choice is presented. Now, let's look at the passage containing the information that we're going to use in the information sheet. We need to make sure that we fill this out precisely and correctly to avoid erasures. As you can see, we need to start with the family name, which is Arambulo. It is followed by the first name or the given name, which is Anna. And then followed by the middle initial, which is L. But do you know that aside from this pattern, there are other patterns for the name section of the form? Take a look at this. Here in the first example, it starts with the last name, followed by the first name, and the middle initial. The second example asks for the surname, which is also the last name, followed by the first name, and then the middle name, which is the full version of the middle initial. On the third example, notice that a name extension is added. These are examples of name extensions. Junior, Senior, the Second, the Third, the Fourth, the Fifth, and so on. However, if the name has no extension, simply put NA, or it means not applicable. Do not leave anything blank. There are forms which are boxed, just like this one. Remember to put one letter in every box. If your name is long, leave only one box after every name. Leave only one box after every name. That serves as space. Now, let's go back to the information sheet. Age. 
Ana Arambulo is 10 years old. Let's write it in number form. The citizenship or nationality indicates whether Ana is a Filipino or other nationality. Ana is a Filipino. Let's put it in the blank. Now let's go to the date of birth. Indicate the month, the day, and the year when Anna was born. Let us write August 1, 2010. For the sex, take the appropriate box. Anna is a girl. Therefore, check the box F, which is female. For the place of birth, let us write where Anna was born. Let us write Quezon City. For the home address, let us write where Anna lives. It is 24 Bakersfield Street, Kamiya Village, Bagong Lipunan, Quezon City. And let us now indicate the zip code also on the form. It is 5770. Let us now proceed to the name of the father. Anna's father's name is David S. Arambulo. And now let's go to the occupation of Anna's father. It says in the paragraph that Mr. David S. Arambulo's occupation is a mechanic. Now let's go to Anna's mother's name. Let us put Agapita El Arambulo. And then, let us put Anna's mother's occupation, which is a psychologist. For the signature and printed name, Anna needs to put her full name followed by her signature on top of it. And then write the date when Anna filled out the form. And this is how an accomplished information sheet looks like. It is neat, filled out correctly, and accurately. Now, let's have another kind of form. This one is called a deposit slip. This is used how much money one is putting or saving on his or her bank account. It contains the account name, account number, the number of each denomination about to be deposited, the date when the form was filled out, and the currency. Let's use the information in the box to fill out the form. Ta-da! Now, this is an example of a filled out deposit slip. This time, let's try to fill out the withdrawal slip. On the left portion of the withdrawal slip, you need to take out if it is savings or current. Next, you need to put the account name. Let's use the details that we used earlier in the deposit slip. You need to put the account number and the amount you want to withdraw in words. On the lower part of it, you need to write the amount in figures. The right portion of the withdrawal slip needs the signature of the account holder. Below it, if your representative withdraws the money, it needs to be signed by him or her and also be written on top of his or her name. On the lower part or the cash breakdown, don't write anything here. The teller will be the one who will fill this out for you. But kids, before you start working or filling out any forms, you need to remember these simple reminders. First, read and understand the form before filling it out. The second, follow the directions. The third one, write legibly. Use black or blue ink only. The fourth one is, be precise in supplying information. Next, give true and correct information. 
Next is avoid erasures. And the last one is handle the form with utmost care. That's it for our lesson. I hope you learned a lot today and can answer the worksheets properly. Till our next lesson, bye!